I think that in a, in a modern industrial society like the United States or Great Britain or Japan or Europe, if, you, if the citizenry does not understand science, then that citizens, citizenry is not going to be making good decisions. In a democratic uh, society like ours, we depend upon the citizens making good decisions. We have to make decisions about science and technology all the time. We have to make decisions about the uh, environment, about how we use the environment, how we exploit it, how we protect it, whether we protect it, what we do with it. And those kinds of decisions need to be informed by science. Now science is not going to determine those decisions. In many cases, um, the science provides us with a controversial topic like stem cells that we have to decide about. And the actual science itself isn't going to, is not going to be depository. We have to um, use our ethical and moral systems to make many of these decisions, but they should be informed by science. Science, accurate science and, and clear understanding of science needs to be extant among the population before they can apply those ethical and moral precepts. So I would hope that um, we would become more scientifically literate as a population. I read a study once where an investigator took a poll of people and asked them questions about their understanding of science and their understanding of how science worked. And he was able to kind of divide the group into those who uh, really knew very little about science and understood very little about how science really operated in a group that was more scientifically literate. The two groups differed a great deal in some very profound ways. Um, the group that didn't understand science very well or didn't think very scientifically tended to have more of a more of a magical way of looking at life. They, they seemed to feel that that fate was much more in charge than they were and that there wasn't a whole lot they could do to affect um, you know the rest of their lives. It was a very fatalistic kind of, of way of, of looking at, at the world. Now if we have a whole society full of people like that, that's very bad because we depend in a democratic society like the United States, we depend on people who feel that decisions and actions have consequences, that there is this cause and effect relationship in the, in the world and that if I vote for a particular senator that has this policy, this is going to happen. If I vote against that person, I may be preventing a policy. There has to be this feeling that my actions can have an effect on the world in order for us to have a democratic society. And to some degree, understanding the kind of cause and effect basis of science and thinking in terms of, of testing explanations against the natural world, of, of, of critically thinking about things, of evaluating ideas and, and testing to see which ones are, are most useful and which ones are most valid. I think all of that is very important, just in terms of having a democratic society because we depend on one another and we each have one vote. And I would really hope that those votes are being cast and the decisions that are, the decisions that are made by our representatives as well as the, just the man on the street are being made with some kind of concept of critical thinking. Because goodness knows we have plenty of opportunities to make bad decisions. And that's to the detriment of our health, our welfare, our environment, of virtually everything that we think is important in the United States. If creationists get their way, if they are actually able to get a religious idea taught in a science class as science, if they're able to do this, if they succeed in getting around the legal constraints that presently exist, if they ever win a court case, what that's going to mean is, I think, far more serious than what people have stopped to think about. It's going to mean that you can teach religion, you can become an advocate for, you can become a government advocate, a teacher can become a government advocate for a religious point of view, and she can use other people's children to do this. That's very serious. And so ultimately, what you're going to have is an undermining of secular democracy itself. We have a secular constitutional democracy built along the guidelines laid out in the Constitution, which is a secular document. 
which mandates that the government be neutral in matters of religion, which means that public school teachers cannot, in any class, not just in a science class, but in any class, become an advocate for a religious point of view. And at the very least, it would mean that a science teacher is doing something very unethical, misleading children about science, um, or that the science teacher, if the teacher really believes intelligent design is science, is incompetent. And so that would give legal sanction to professional incompetence, to a, a very unethical type of behavior, and it would undermine the Constitution. That's a threat to every American, and we would be doing this inside a classroom. Public schools are the very seedbed of democracy, and people need to connect this issue of creationism with the issue of the Constitution, because ultimately that's what's endangered. To teach intelligent design creationism in a public school would have a profound effect on the goal that every democracy has to keep in, ma in mind, and that's to have an educated, informed public. The public right now has a very, the American public has a very low level of scientific literacy. That's already a problem. They also, with respect to many other issues, have a very low level of information. Americans have more access to more information than anybody on earth, and yet they are among the most poorly informed people um, on the planet because so much of, so many of the outlets through which they get their news, the chief one being television, simply doesn't inform people anymore to the extent that it used to. So if creationism is put into a public school science class and people get the idea that this is science, it's going to even more drastically reduce the level of public literacy in science. It's going to reduce the level of accurate information uh, below what it already is. It would have, it, it would further corrode both science literacy and the information that the public should have to make good decisions about what educational policy should be.